Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. Entitlement. These racists think that they're entitled to everything, including positions of leadership. And whenever they don't get that power, they will try to sue or sabotage things until they can get their way. For example, you had this white police captain by the name of David Spicer who was angry because the black officer on the right has been appointed to police chief instead of the white officer. Now these racists are angry and now he is filing a racial discrimination lawsuit after being skipped over for the promotion to police chief. And I'm like, do you know that we in the black community get denied a whole bunch of things as just for the sake of being black? I mean, let's look at an example of another. That, so that incident was in Delaware. Look what's happening in New York. You have Mayor... Bill de Blasio has decided to pass over a black man for the third time because he's probably done this before to instead promote a white male as a police commissioner over in New York. This man is not happy with what has happened. This man is Deputy Commissioner Benjamin Tucker, the man on the left. See, he wanted the position of Head Commissioner of New York PD. But Mayor Bill de Blasio has decided to overturn and go with a white man instead. And this is not once, not twice, but this is the third time that he has passed over someone who is black and given the position to a white male. <coughs> See, the racists are happy about that, but whenever a black man um, uh, the black officer right here, Marvin Mellon, Melly, he gets, gets appointed to police chief and then racists like David Spicer get all angry and want to sue the police department, call foul play and stuff. See, when they, uh, when the racist, white, white racists don't get their way, that's when they want to call foul. That's when they want to say racism is going on. But whenever they get appointed for something, uh, then they're happy. And that's how this system has worked. Make sure that the white person is on top and everyone else is at the bottom especially if you are a black person if you're a black person according to these racists you're meant to be put at the very bottom but shame on david spicer because he did not earn the position of police chief the man on the right Marvin Milley earned the position of police chief and also shame on Mayor Bell de Blasio. You claiming you like black people, you claiming you're not racist, you claiming you're a friend, you and, and don't forget this is a Democrat. Um, um, but yet you're going to, when you're trying to get police and the black community to coexist, you know, to get more trust, you still appoint a white man who probably never earned it over a black guy in the case you decide not to give the position of lead or head commissioner to Benjamin Tucker. You just found some white person to do it instead. See, the karma that Bill de Blasio faced is that he's, uh, he was trying to run for president 
but he ended up not doing so well, and now he is out of um, the position of, now he, he stepped out of the race, which is karma for the fact that he is doing such a heinous act. See, this is how the system is run. Make sure the white person is on top and the black person is on the very bottom. But when the black ver person is the one that ends up on top, do be uh, and the white person is not, the white person does everything he or she can to um, sabotage everything. In this case, David Spicer is putting in a lawsuit because he's just so angry. But this is, like I said, I think I said in another article on um, video, the hypocrisy of policing. And this is about race. So yeah, don't be coming on my comment section saying this has nothing to do with race. Oh yes, both articles have everything to do with freaking race. But that's all. I just want to do a rant about these two different stories from Atlantic Black Star. I will leave the link to both articles in the description box and comment section for y'all to um, look at. But that's all I have to say for now. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, make sure you like and share this video. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.